In this video, we will focus on structure number two. We'll develop a, a set of views and we'll create a sheet that illustrates some of those view details. Now for the first view, I'm going to go to the south elevation and I'm going to zoom in to structure number two. Okay. I'll go to view and I'll create a new call out. The call out, I want to get the foundation as well as the full truss. And I'll make some adjustments to that when I get to it. And you'll see that a new view has been created. And I'm going to rename this, this view. Structure for elevation detail. And when I go to that, I should see that the scale has been assigned of a quarter inch equals a foot. Now that's going to be a little bit small, not large enough to get in some of the notations. So I'm going to click on this and this one I'm going to make half an inch equals a foot. So our other wall sections were three quarters of an inch because there was a lot more density. And at half an inch, it will fit on the sheet without having to sort of crop the various sections. So that's the first view. For the second view, I'm gonna go to the section through structure two looking west. And in that view, I'm gonna make another call out call out is going to be basically like half of the structure. So I want to get the footings in there and I want to get the column bubbles and maybe give a little bit of space on the right for notes. Okay. And if you hover over it, you'll see that one of them is a call out. So this is the call out. I'm going to rename that one section through structure, um, let's just call this one enlarged section of structure two. Okay, now there it is at the top of the list because it's alphabetical and that one, because I was uh, because I created a call out from a quarter inch scale drawing, it um, generated it at half inch, which is what I want it to be. Okay, now these, these drawings, these framing drawings are going to be, they're not something that you would typically include in a drawing set. We're really using this for illustrative purposes. And so for that reason, instead of just showing these as black and white drawings, I'm going to show them as shaded. Okay, so it'll have a little bit more contrast. I'm going to go to that elevation detail, and I'm going to do the same thing, shaded. Okay. Now you'll notice that um, the colors for the framing didn't appear, and that is because it's set to a coarse level of detail, which is sometimes common when you're doing framing drawing. So I'm going to set it to fine, and then we should see those details appear. So now we have our two um, kind of enlarged detail drawings. And what we're going to do next is create a few camera views that allow us to see certain parts of the structure in more detail. So again, this is something that you wouldn't necessarily find in a set of construction documents, but um, again, we're using this for illustration purposes. So I'm gonna go to level two, and the first camera view, I wanna show um, basically uh, the structure from the corner. So I can capture the trusses from the exterior, so I'm going to go to view, 3D view, camera, 
and I'll place my camera, you know, a little bit outside of the structure and I'll direct it towards the far corner. So there's my view and I may need to kind of uh, play a little bit with, you know, the proportions and, and the direction of the camera, but basically that's the idea. And as I did with the other views, I'm going to turn them into shaded. So we see a little bit more detail against the white background. That's one. A second one, I'm going to go back to level two, will be an interior view. So level two, camera. I'll place myself inside the space and I'll look towards the north. Try to get it as straight as possible. So it's a one point perspective. And I'm gonna change my style again, the visual style. Now we have a pretty large surface here of the plywood subfloor. Um, and I kind of like to see all the framing that's underneath it. So um, it's a little bit tricky to capture that plane. I'm gonna hover over here. I'm gonna come over to the side and I'm gonna hit tab. Let's see, tab. Once you see that side um, sill plate illuminate and the one that's in the distance there running horizontally, click. Um, okay, it looks like we did not get what I was looking for. I'm trying to capture the floor. So I'll keep tabbing until it allows me to select that. I did not get it again. So let's see if we can figure out another way to capture that. Okay, I think the better way to do this is to go actually to the south elevation, zoom in to level two. That's my plywood, Oop, not that one, this one right here. Then go back to uh, the 3D view and now it's illuminated. I can right click, hide it in view. Um, or actually another way to do this, um, let's do this override graphics in view by element. And what we can do is make it appear, but give it some transparency. So let's see how that looks. Maybe that's a little too much. All right, so there's a little bit of tone there, but I'm basically able to see through it. Okay, that will be the second camera view. And for the third one, I'm gonna go to level one and I wanna capture that header that's over, you know, the opening in, the, in this load bearing wall and the header above it. So I'm gonna go to camera view again, place myself as far back as possible and try to get a shot that's pretty much a one point perspective here. I wanna go all the way through so I see the framing beyond. And again, I'm going to change um, the rendering style. And I think in this case, so I can see um, my joists up there, but maybe what I'll do is the same thing with that layer of plywood is make it a little bit transparent so we can see the framing below. So I'll go back to the south elevation. I'm down to level one's layer of plywood. Now go back to 3D view and right click override and graphics by element and give that a little bit of maybe 50% apply. I don't remember what I did the other one. So now we can see a little bit through the floor. Okay, so those are the three views. Okay, so I just renamed the one that was 3D view number one um, to exterior view for 
view number two, I'm gonna rename that view from level two. And for the third one, view from level one. Um, you could name these other things too. Uh, for example, this one could have been called view at load bearing wall or opening in load bearing wall or something like that. But basically we just wanna distinguish one from the other. Okay, so now we are ready to create a new sheet. It'll have these five views. <clears throat> So I'm gonna go down to the sheets and I'm gonna create a new sheet. And I'll say, okay, using the same one I used before. And this one is going to be named Structure to Framing Details. Wonder if I can, yeah, no, I can't. I, there may be a way it would be better to have structure two in one and return down for that, but may have to add some space to get that to happen. Okay, so um, <clears throat> we'll have the three views over here on the left, the three camera views, and then the two other details. So when you bring them in, into a sheet, they're gonna automatically number. And if you bring in um, them in the order that you want them to be, you kind of save yourself a little bit of time. So in this case, I'm going to bring them in, starting with those 3D views. Exterior view will be number one. View from level one will be the second detail. And I think we talked about this a little bit earlier. If you remember when I created uh, the transverse section sheet, I'm starting from the upper left, one, two, three, four. I wanna follow the same sort of numbering pattern. Um, again, whichever one you choose is fine. It's just, you wanna be consistent about them. All right, now these are gonna need to be resized a little bit, but I don't know how much until I get the other details in place. So um, the next one that I'm gonna bring in, this is gonna be detail number four, will be the enlarged section of structure two. Place that here. And the last one will be under the elevations, structure for elevation detail, and it's going to go right next to it. Okay, now you can see we have a little bit of work in getting things moved around, and we're also going to add a few notations um, to these two drawings on the right. So I'm going to shift things around just a little bit, but I won't know for sure once I, until I get some of the annotations in. Um, so things may move around a little bit more later. <clears throat> 